Welcome to worship as we gather on this fourth Sunday of the Epiphany. And this Sunday, we are also going to be gathering uh, via Zoom for a congregational update and information sharing meeting, talk about where the finances are, what we've been up to over the last you know, year or so, just to let you know what's been happening here at First Lutheran Church. And there has been a lot of stuff happening. There's been education opportunities, worship opportunities, uh, fellowship opportunities, mission opportunities here at the church. And so the mission of our congregation, while we are not gathered in person for worship, the work of this church continues. And for that, I give thanks to God and I give thanks to you for supporting and participating in the ongoing life and mission of First Lutheran Church. And hopefully today we will have shared some exciting announcements. If not, that announcement will be coming soon. And we are, there's some really great things happening here at the church and I'm looking forward to sharing them with you. But today, let's begin our time together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Most loving and gracious God, King of creation and Lord of all, we thank you for how you have established your holy word as a living force in this world, for how you have shown forth your power, your glory, and your love for us in the words and the actions of the prophets and in your Son, Jesus, whom you have sent to lead us in the way of peace. Help us to hear your word today, to absorb your love, and to become more worthy disciples of Jesus Christ. For we ask this in his name. Amen. This is a reading from the Gospel according to Mark the first chapter. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Just then there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. They were all amazed, and they kept on asking one another, What is this, a new teaching and with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. At once, his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. Holy wisdom, holy word. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Precious Lord Jesus, wonderful Holy Spirit, loving Father, we are grateful you have touched us and called us to be your servants. We thank you that as we follow you, you take upon yourself our burdens and our fears and grant us to rest and peace. Our hearts know you are within us, above us and all around us. We thank you for the call that you have put upon our hearts and lives and for the full and abundant life you have given us when we respond to that call and live each day as your disciples. And loving God, we pray that you might speak into the hearts of all your people, that they might hear you in the cries of all who are fearful and who call for justice and mercy. 
And we pray that you might spread the canopy of your peace over all of us, over Israel and your church, over Palestine and Iraq and Iran, over North Korea, over Russia, over the east and the west and the north and the south, over all who dwell on the face of this earth. And we pray, O Lord, for those in our world who are given earthly authority for the sake of others. We think of doctors who are charged with the task of healing and containing this disease, of judges who must decide what is just, of leaders who must care for their people, of teachers who must nurture their students. We pray, O oh God, that each one of these may seek your wisdom before acting and that you would bless them with the insight and the power and the will to do good. And loving God, we pray for Advent Lutheran Church as they installed their new pastor, Reverend Aaron Schnell, that you would bless their ministry together, that they may shine with the brightness of your love, and bear witness to your mercy and grace in all that they say and do. And loving God, those concerns and those individuals whom you have placed upon our heart this day, we lift up to you. We pray especially for Roy, for Becky, for Jacqueline, for Ryan, for Sean, for Graham, for Bill, for Art, for Don, for George, for Paige, for Tricia, for Andrew, for Tom, for Leela, for Leon, for Laura, for Genesis, for Matthew, for Laura, for Stephanie, for Vicky, for Celine, for Richard, for Adam, for Joanne, for Rebecca, for Brenda, for Brooklyn, for Darlene, for Joe, for Wayne, for Brad, for Kalum, for Larry, for Bob, for Thomas, and for Frank, and for the Zamzo family as they say goodbye that your renewing power will rest with them and that they may receive the healing and the care that only you can give. And Lord, our profession of faith calls us to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, and to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope. Empower us, O God, to do these things and to remember at all times where our hope comes from, to remember that you are gracious and compassionate, and that in life and that in death and in life beyond death, you are with us. Amen. And as our Savior Jesus taught us, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit guide your days and your deeds in peace. Amen.